and when he realized, <laughs> oh, I will tell you, first you should give some that history of Ajami. Oh, he was a very good Brahmacharya, learned Brahmacharya, and how he became. And then I will explain the inner meaning. Shri Gurudev has ordered me to explain something of the history of Ajana. In Shri Bhavata, childhood, he was of a very good character, and as he grew up, he learned the Vedas and had a very good standard of behavior. He was very clean, very sattvic, and following everything very nicely. He, as he uh, became somewhat older, he was married also, and he was observing the rules and regulations of Varnashram Dharma. Still, it happened that one day, when he was in the forest collecting some wood for sacrifice, at that time there was a prostitute and she was meeting with a very low class man. Both of them were intoxicated and they were enjoying each other. As he was walking past, this scene caught his eye. He saw only for a second, for a moment, and he tried to look away. But he could not contain his curiosity and again he looked and he tried to look away. Then he left that place. But that thing that he had seen, it would not leave his mind. He wanted to forget it. He wanted to carry on with his very sattvic and peaceful and civilized life. But that poison which had entered into his heart through the eyes was so powerful. He could not uh, control it. He became weak. And gradually the desire sprouted and grew within his heart that he wanted to meet with that prostitute. So after some time, he left his family, his children, everything, and he met with her. But any prostitute, she cannot be satisfied without so much money, intoxication, gold and bangles and so many things, nice clothes. Now he left everything. How could he maintain her? So he was stealing, fighting, killing people, burning their houses, stealing everything, and in this way giving her anything she wanted. He was living with her, and after so many years he had so many children by her, seven children. Then in his old age even, still making children more. His eighth child, he gave that child the name Narayan. He had some impressions from his younger age, so this name was attractive to him. He called him Narayan. So his whole life, many, many years, doing all kinds of sinful activities, leaving behind all kinds of civilized behavior. He was very, very sinful. So after many years, the time of death came. At that time, his youngest son, his, who was called Narayan, was a small boy. And he was very much attached to him. All the time, he would play with him, keep him in his lap, feeding him, speaking with him, laughing and joking with him. So when the time of death came, then he saw something very, very frightening, very terrifying. Three personalities, very hairy, with pointed ears and teeth and blazing eyes, 
very violent looking. They came there and they grabbed him to take him to Yamlok. He became terrified and at that moment he called for his son because he was so attached. He screamed out, Narayana! Narayana! Four syllables. First, three Jamadutas had come to take him. Why? Because he'd been sinful by his body, by mind and by words. But now, because he called out the name Narayana, four syllables, four very effulgent, transcendental personalities appeared there. Their complexions were darkish. They were carrying this club content lotus flower with garlands and golden cloths and golden ornaments and golden crowns. And they appeared there at once. And they chased away and beat off the Jamadutas. The Jamadutas were astonished. They said, Oh, what are you doing? The Vishnu said to them, Oh, today, in a religious assembly, the most religious act is being perpetrated. What is that? A man who is innocent, who is sinless, who has no sins at all, is being taken to the abode of Yamaraj. When the Jamadutas heard this, they could not believe their ears. What are you saying? You are saying that a sinless person, an innocent person is being taken to the abode of Jamaraj. Don't you know this person is so sinful? He's done everything. He broke all the four relative principles. Meat eating, intoxication, gambling, illicit sex. Oh, murdering, killing, stealing. He's done everything. Why are you saying that he's innocent? They, ex they told. No. He's completely innocent. Why? Anyone who takes the name of the Supreme Personality of Godhead in any way, any way that they say this name, even one time, Sanketyam Parihasimba, if they're saying it to indicate something else, as he was indicating his son, if they're saying it as a joke, if they're saying it inattentively, in any way they say, Vaikunta Nama Grahanam, the name of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Asheshagam Haram Vidu, you should know that this name is so powerful, it destroys unlimited sins. Unlimited. You cannot commit as many sins. It is not possible to commit so many sins that even one name of Narayan cannot destroy the effect of those sins at once. They became amazed. The Ajamil, he heard all these things and he was put back in his body. And the Jamaduts, they returned to Yamalok. They were so upset. They were thinking, Every day we do our business, we have so much fun going here and there, <laughs> ripping them out and sending them down to Yamaraj for the, to the reform school of Yamaraj, I don't like to use the word hell. And there they undergo so many different treatments in the, the hell of Yamaraj. And no one can ever check us. No one ever checked us before. Because our master Yamaraj is the Supreme Lord. Death is the Supreme Lord. No one can argue with Him. So they're upset. How is it that today our service to our Master was obstructed? So they met with Yamaraj. Yamaraj told them, Actually, I am not the Supreme Lord. They were astonished. You are not the su Death is not the Supreme Lord? No. Narayan, the Supreme Personality of God, He is the Supreme Lord. And the chanting of His holy names is the supreme principle of all religion. Religious principles are very difficult to understand, but they have been enunciated by the Supreme Lord Himself. And the Mahajans, such as Brahma, Narad, Shiva, Janak Maharaj, Prahlad Maharaj, Kapil Dev, Vyasa Dev, Shukadev Goswami, and myself, and Bali Maharaj, we know these religious principles. What is that? The highest religious principle of all is to render devotional service to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And this devotional service begins from the chanting of His holy names. So then the Jamalutas, they were pacified. 
Meanwhile, back on Earth, Yamaraj told them, if in the future you want to avoid this similar experience, then you should be very careful. You should observe this regulation. What is that? You should not go to any person who wears tilak, who wears kantimala, tosim on their neck, or who chants the name of Narayan. Never go to them. They are not fit to go to my abode. Done only one pranam to Thakurji. Those who have given their obeisances to the deity of Krishna even one time, you cannot go to them and touch them. So all of these activities of devotional service, which we may take for granted and think, oh, they are very simple things, actually they are extremely powerful. So in the meantime, back on earth, Ajahnil came back in his body. Now, he had had Sadhu Sangha, association of pure Sadhus, who were they? The Vishnu Dutes. And in their association, he had heard the glories of Harinam. So now he was very much convinced. He left all of his sinful activities, that prostitute, and all those bad associates, he left them and he went to Haridwar and there he sat on the bank of the Ganges and having inspiration in his heart and very strong faith in the holy name being inspired by the association of the Vishnu Dutes he began to chant Harinam and after some time when his chanting was mature and pure then an airplane came down from Vaikuntha with those same Vishnu Dutes and they welcomed him and took him back home, back to Godhead, to Vaikuntha. Oh, there are so many teachings in this. Ajamil was first very pure, serving father, mother, and in family life with very pure Oh, wife, chest wife, very beautiful children, engaging himself in Varnashram Dharma, beauty worship, fire sacrifice, Om Swaha, Om Swaha, like this. But they could not check him a desire to meet with any prostitute. Never. They are not so much powerful, this thing. If you want to check the desire to oh, test Maya, oh, by all the activities you cannot check. And you heard that how he left all these things and went to prostitute. There were eight children, among them last, he came, Narayani. He was not Narayan, born. And Ajamil was here, a very fallen soul, not initiation, now no guru, nothing. And he kept the name Narayan. Oh, this first name, though it was Namabhas, not pure name, but so powerful. And after that name coming, Om oh, Narayan, come on, and telling Narayan, Narayan, oh, it became like Sadhan. practice of Bhakti Yoga. But he never realize it, as we are not realizing that what is the effect of the name and chanting, hearing Harikatha, we are same as we were in past. 
My lust is there. My weakness is there. So many desires are there. Then what is the use of chanting name, serving Guru Dev, and doing practicing of nine kinds of bhakti are so many things. Why to give water in Tulsi, to do parikrama of Tulsi, parikrama of temple, and all these things. Why to go to pure places like Vindaman Dham, Nodik Dham, so expensive, so much expensive. But even we go. But what we see? Oh no, Then this time we can very worry for this and that period is very critical. If there is no association at that time, oh, you can give up chanting and remembering and everything. And again you, are, you will do like so many are doing now. But you should not be worried for this. Why? Ajamil did it, but till death he never realized the fact. When he gave first name, Namabhas was done, but he never knew that what is name, what is Namabhas, what is, never knew. Even no guru at that time. But it acted, and it was acting, and he became like that. If a rope is burnt and not disturbed, then folding will be there. Shape. The but it cannot bind anyone. If you will touch, it will be Ash. finished. So, Namabhas, what did? His all sins were well burnt, but he never realized. He thought that I am. Oh, same person and doing sins and bad activities. In the same way we, we are doing, Gurudev gave Harina. At that time in no shame, but full of so many worldly desires, unwanted. <coughs> but you chanted name, your Gurudev gave, gave name of Krishna. Oh, hi, not only Narayan, what he gave? Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Himself Krishna and Radhika and he gave very powerful. And he created Shraddha. And he gave you desire to serve Krishna also. So you are, your name is more powerful than that Ajami. So why you are you in If his name without Guru in that bad situation, it worked and his all sins were finished. But he was doing same. So you should know that his activities, bad things, sins, oh, were like burnt rope. They cannot bind. You must have a strong faith. When you will realize, oh, you will realize. When? Oh, death will come and you will see that you have put your feet on the heads of death. Cap, cap. What, what? They're saying they can't hear the back door. If you can change the microphone so they can control the reach. So you should tell him to manage. Is this, is Don't this disturb way? mother. Are you not hearing last person? Yeah, they cannot hear you when you live in the back. Oh, so why you are not? Yes, sir. Tell me. My telling all not in pain. No.
So even you are doing sin, active, sinful activities. After keeping his name, uh, keeping the name of his son Narayan, and he was doing, he was engaged in doing all these things, bad activities. But all activities were like burnt. No fruitful. No fruit. But anyone at that time never realized this. Who will realize? A person like Narad, Vyas, Shu, or they can realize. We can imagine with full, uh, full faith, we will accept it. We can reconcile the words of Gita. Api ke suhura charo bhajate maam anandavaya sadhu deva samantabhya samyak bevisato hi isha. What is the meaning? Can you tell? Even if one is the most sinful of all sinners. Even if one is is the most sinful of all sinners, if he is situated Sudurasha. Most sinful. Uh, and then if he is situated in the boat of transcendental knowledge or at the lotus feet of the Lord, then he can cross over the ocean of Bhagavad. What is the meaning of Anandabha? Only one Krishna Bhajati. No demigods, others. Only one pointed to Krishna. He is doing Ananda Bhajan. And he has faith on Krishna. But his heart is weak. And he falls down in bad activities. Even, oh, we should think him, what? Pure Vaishnava. We should think. Why? Oh, his all sins have been burnt. And he chanting, or he was chanting, so his all sins are burnt. And very soon he will be a very high class of Vaishnava. But we should see that whether he has done Vaishnava Paradha. If offense, it is very. Even this pure name or Namabhas, not pure name, Abhas will also be gone. So we should see a thought. Namaprat, Nama. Bajamil has no Vaishnava. He has one Rishins. And that went. So, if a Vaishnava, not offensing any Vaishnava, Namapara, and Apiche Sudhura Acharu, he is doing bad activities, very bad. Even then you should see that oh he is sadhu rev. He is one pundit to Krishna. And even he is doing namahas, all his sons are gone. But we are seeing him that he is even engaged in making sin, but we should have a trust in or Gita, or words of Krishna. Even demigods could not reconcile, and they were in dilemma. What is this thing? And they could not reconcile. So they came to Sila Bhakti Vinod Thakur and told, please come to heaven, and we have a council there, discussion, and please keep your idea there. They took Bhakti Vinodha put there and he spoke about this thing and he cleared everything <coughs> by telling this Upakhyan, so many Upakhyan, 
like Azamil and others. And then he reconciled. So Bhakti Nautak is more than superior, less and less than than demigods. He was real. He is real also. So we should have a very strong faith on these things. So Azamil, not initiated by any Paramatma Guru. And he kept name. And he who was in fear, hearing, seeing three wives, a figure. And he Vivas uh, Hokarke Namdiya. He took that name Narayan out of fear. And then what we can at once they fall. That three jamdots went on. And four associates of Vishnu, Narayan King. And thus his soul was again came in his body. And he was hearing all the dialects between And he heard all these things and now he realized, oh, only by keeping the name of my son Narayan, oh, I was, I am saved by the dog, death. And my soul is here. So now he has a very big faith. And he took thought that, oh, these four, I'm not associated, but they are giving diksha, initiation life. And he thought that they are my guru. And actually this is... If an animal is giving Diksha Mantra and he is not qualified, his Diksha will not do anything. In India, we see or the guru gives the mantra uh, in ears and blown some air in their ears. ears. And they, they, they called, oh, this is Diksha. <laughs> really, this is not Diksha. But, oh, giving all the months with explanations <coughs> by hearing and this Diksha. It, not, it does not come in a day or in a minute, but, but you are oh, a school of that diksha. And when you will be matured, then your diksha is. When you will have idea of all the thoughts by here. So those who give not only mantra, but line of thought and so many tattva, oh, he is really good Diksha. And that is why it has been told Diksha and Sikha. So, who is Guru really? Diksha or Sikha Guru? Who is giving the desire of to serve Krishna? And helping in this way to take us to the Lord's feet of Krishna, or oh, really He is good. Even not giving months, but giving this uh, what idea for to serve Krishna by Ohari Katha, He is good. If a guru has given one month, but not all tats, everything. Really, he is not Guru. Really, Guru, who helps us in the service of Krishna, giving us in the Lord's feet of Krishna, really, he is Guru. So, you call him Diksha Guru or Siksha Guru. But really who is giving a mantra and tells that who is the deity of this mantra? 
What is your relation with the deity of mantra? Or you should think that this mantra is himself Krishna. And you should have a very strong faith in this and be Sharanagat to this mantra, deity of mantra. The limbs of Five limbs of Six limbs. Five limbs. No, no. <laughs> Five And then, what is Sharanagati? Oh, Krishna can, this deity of this month, can save me, nourish, he can, support me. He can save me, this deity. So, taking this thing, Third, and or giving some relation with deity and then prapatti, prapatti then sarnagati, prapatti, he is my seva. And then atmanivedan, so first pay the deity of the mantra, second the relation with deity to that disciple, third prapatti, nyas, nyas means, oh, this is relation. And also, that even one time chanting of these months can save me and help me. But we should try to do it ten times or one hundred eight times. I will do. You should do. This is called Nyas. Then Prapatti Sarnagati Nani Atmaniveda. <coughs> oh, five limbs of the Mansatya. With them, you should chant. One point eight. Realizing the relation with that deity and meditating all these things. Then this mantra will express them manifest in your heart very soon, other by not. If a guru gives all these things to any disciple, oh, he is really good. He may be Shiksha Guru or Diksha Guru, who is helping in all means to a disciple. Really, he is good. So, his guru was who? Ajamins? Oh, for Vishnu Guru. He realized and set from death. But how will be like then? How I can serve my deity, mantra deity? That is Narayan. Because he was oh, telling Narayan. So Narayan was like this. Sometimes name is more powerful than mantra. Mantra can help give you relation. And when? By relation, chant, chanting that mantra, you will take shelter of name himself. Then it will take you to Guru Vrindavan. The power of mantra and the exercise, doing mantra, oh, you can go to Guru Vrindavan. It will open the door and it will give relation and some idea, but mantra will take you there. Now. Uh, now. And you can chant name even in Golok Vrindavan, but no use of remembering mantra in Golok Vrindavan when you are perfect, liberated. <coughs> So this mantra are in this world, <coughs> giving relation to and some abhas of that world and your everything seen and all these things will go away. But name can take you to Guru Vrindavan and it can give offering to you. What is mantra? not other than name, only it has, uh, something is needed, but 
ओम नमः स्वाहा Krishnaya Swaha, it is mantra. And Krishna is name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna is name thing. Sometimes we think that Guru has given me <coughs> only name of Krishna, Ma Mantra, Hare Krishna, Hare. But he has not given me three, separate three, or oh, five, five after five says not done. And I have not given second initiation. So I am third class bowers. Don't think. <laughs> Guru has given name. That is Krishna and Radha he has given you. More powerful than mantra. But five names, mantra is given. That pureness will come. A relation will come. If a girl wants to be with a boy. In India, she cannot be if she is not married. In marriage ceremony. And it has been seen that a sinful act. Note that so many children are coming and yes, no harm here. But in India it was not like this. Now some air is coming also there. So father and mother, they will donate to the boy. Boy should be very chest, girl should be chest. And they will donate by mantra. Oh, you are husband, I am giving my girl to you. You should accept. He will accept by mantra. And witness. Who will be? Fire, Guru, Brahman, and all relatives. If you will neglect anything, any of them, they will be charged. They will be punished for this. They will be boycotted. So, this month gives what? Relation. And it can be only done in this law. Sadhan. Name is Sadha also. Mantra is not Sadha. Sadhan. But name or without Swaha, without Om, cling and everything, oh, he is like Krishna. So Hare Krishna. Oh Krishna, come on. Oh Radhe, come on. I am taking your shelter in this way. So, a guru gives all these things, not in one day, that he get mantra and air in the ears, <laughs> by his thoughts. He develops the love and affection to Krishna, in, to the disciples. So, there are so many things in Ajami Upakhan. If by hearing, if a strong faith is not coming, then what is this? If you are going to school and college, that college and call the school will save you from death and all these things? Never. So you should have you should have very strong faith in Ajami Upakya. Told by whom? Sukadeva Swami. Realize so. Not only that. Oh, Krishna himself, like he came in like a bear. And Ved and Upanishad and Srimad Bhagavatam are the words of Krishna. So if you want to be happy in this life, in other life, give up all the desires. Be like Gaur Kishok Das Baba Janaraj, Lokanath Goswami, and others. Don't disbelieve all these things. Have ability on our Guru. 
or he can save you from death and all ignorance and everything. The school colleges will help you to go to help. Nothing else. You think that they will help? Oh, first if you are going to school, lust will come and lady friend will be there. Lady girl. What? Girlfriend. Advance you will choose. And the girlfriend, what they will choose? Oh, what is this? This is lust. And if your character is moral and character are gone, then what is there? <coughs> so, believe in scriptures, in Ajami Upakhya. If a desire comes that I must serve Krishna, really, this is your strong faith. And if it is not coming, oh, due to your past activities that Vaishnava Parad and other things, you are not real reconciling everything. So my request is that, humble, very request, humble, request, that you should believe in, in this, not a story, but Upakha, and try to do bhajan. Have a belief on your Guru, one of our Guru. And what Guru is telling is not his words, but his words of Krishna. Don't waste your time in other things. And go on. You should have a faith that, oh, my sins are done, surely. I should serve Krishna. I should chant more. If any desire is coming, what do it? And then loudly you should. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. This will save you. This must save you. At once run away to your Gurudev. You should run away to any high class of the devotees. They will help you. Or you should tell frankly, Oh Gurudev, all these bad desires are coming in my heart. You should go to doctor. If any disease is there, you must go to any expert doctor. And he will operate and give you your future. In this way. Don't delay. Don't keep it in your heart. And then your heart will be weak. Go, Brahma. Hari! Hari!